Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at my Car PM45 subcompact 45 ACP handgun with a 3.42 polygonal rifle barrel. I've owned this for four years now. I've always enjoyed it. I find it extremely small and lightweight. It's loaded weight with six rounds, which is what I have in there now. It's 23 and a half ounces. One inch wide with the slide and a five round magazine with one in the chamber. A smooth double action trigger pull that breaks right around six and a half pounds. And night sights. I've noticed that many of their premium models they're making with the blackened slide now. They also make this with the blackened slide. This one here is a brushed stainless. But I think this thing is excellent. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. Very nice. And light recoil too. Now a lot of people say that the car models have a heavy recoil spring and they're not wrong. But that recoil spring cuts down on the felt recoil substantially. From what I've found and from what other people have told me, they really notice the difference. So we'll go ahead and turn the camera around uh, and I'll show you that. But I've got the six round magazine, all right? Plus one, seven rounds, not bad, and 45, and it's... What I like about car arms is that it's a smooth shooter. Everything from the trigger pull to the felt recoil. And of course, the accuracy makes a difference. Let's go ahead. All right. So let me go ahead and turn the camera, camera around. Under 20 ounces, unloaded, 23 and a half ounces, Loaded, very small, very lightweight, very handsome handgun that is subcompact, and I, I just think it's pretty excellent. I've heard a lot of people say that in order to properly charge a car handgun, you have to lock the slide back and then use the slide stop to charge the round. I have found that you could charge it this way or slingshot it and that it will work just fine or just drop the slide back if that's your preference but I found it to work all all the ways that I just demonstrated check out this lack of muzzle rise with these 45 loads I find it to be very minimal. I've got the six round mag here. I just grabbed it and put it back in there. But I've got the six round mag. Let's go ahead and slam the mag and see if it will charge on its own. And it does. So some people find that as a benefit. I don't see a downside to it with this or any other polymer frame gun out there. It's very reliable and I like the size. Now, personally, I would carry the five round magazine. Normally I would say the six round mag, but with the five round mag, it offers that lip right there. It does give you a full three finger contact, a nice firm grip, and it's just a real nice shooting handgun. Now the six round mag obviously is larger all right, quite a bit larger. You can see that, and then never a problem. But I would use this as a spare. All right, let's try that again. I've got the six round mag here. How about a limpress test with the PM45? Nice. And it passed. One of the things that is very important that myself and many people who own car handguns really enjoy is the double action trigger pull. It's a smooth six and a half pound trigger pull 
that resets right around full position. So it is a true double action. But that smoothness helps keep on keep you on target and that is I think pretty important. You add that with the low muzzle rise, it makes it for good accuracy also. This 45 ACP all the way down to their 380 models has the same trigger pull. Okay, all the nine millimeters, you name it. Steel frame, polymer frame, it uses that same trigger pull so it makes it easy to train with. Let me go ahead and take these shots here. And there it is, the car PM45, a gun I am very fond of, a gun that I have owned for four years now and a gun that I think is an excellent subcompact model in 45 ACP. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.